We're live with Lunch Break Live. Take it away, Chef Susan. Hi, everyone. I'm Susan Pratt from Susan Cooks Vegan, and this is my co-host today, the beautiful Carrington Pratt. She is my daughter. She's three years old. I want to and we're I want going to be to making we're making a copycat Golden Graham cereal. Now this cereal has, you want to taste it? I want one banana. You want a banana, okay. See, okay, so they say never shoot a live show with um, pets or kids. So stay tuned, because there's bound to be a funny, cute blooper coming up. So you guys better watch to the end of the show. So we're making this copycat Golden Graham cereal. It takes only 15 minutes from start to finish. Be quiet. Be quiet. Okay. Um, it, it takes only 15 minutes. And do you guys, how do you guys feel about having beans for breakfast? I know in traditional um, English breakfast, you have beans on the side, but I never eat beans for breakfast, typically. Well, with this cereal, you will be. Instead of wheat flour, we use whole grain oat flour and chickpea flour. It's amazing. And it adds this beautiful crispiness to the cereal and it adds tons of protein and nutrition. And this is, breakfast is the bomb. It'll keep you going all day long. And it's so easy to make. So let's get going. We're gonna make it together. At least I thought we were. So. <laughs> My co-host is down. <laughs> no worries. Let's go ahead and take it to the shot of the ingredients. It's amazing. Look at this beautiful layout, everybody. We'll go back and forth to Susan and the layout. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us today. Take it away. Okay. So what we have to make this cereal, this is oat flour. I made this just by um, blitzing whole grain oats in my high-speed blender or... Uh, you can use a food processor too. So this is one cup and we're going to sieve it. Oops, excuse me. It's really important that you sieve it because there's going to be little, um, little pieces that will make the dough chunky. As you can see, you're already kind of seeing like the, the kind of the, at the outside of the wheat that we don't want. Okay. So we'll and this is one cup of chickpea flour. I bought this from the store. Um, you can get it from Bob's Red Mill, I believe has it. And it's just ground up chickpeas. And actually, I think this one has fava beans in it as well. And so there. See, that's why we sieve it. You can see all that little extra kind of grit that we don't want yes. in our dough. So we'll take it there. And can you, can you, can you stir it for me? Will you stir this for me? My shoe is done. Oh, your shoe is off. Oh, that's really hard when you're cooking to have no shoe. Okay, well then mommy will stir this for you. Okay, so again, one cup of oat flour, one cup of chickpea flour, and then I'm gonna put in one teaspoon of baking powder. This is just, just gonna help the cereal um, not be so dense. A little bit of a little bit fluffy. And then for taste, we've got some cinnamon, uh, half a teaspoon of cinnamon. This is optional. You don't have to put cinnamon if you don't care for it. If, or if maybe you have um, little ones at home. Um, another great use for this cereal is for finger food for toddlers or babies. Um, they can be like teething crackers. You just wanna cut them a little bit bigger. When, when I get to that cutting stage, I can show you and a little bit of half a teaspoon of salt. And that is it for the dry ingredients. How easy is that? And then we're gonna go to the wet. So this is a third of a cup of vegan butter. And to this, we're gonna add two tablespoons of molasses. And molasses actually has a lot of nutrition, believe it or not. It's, um, even though it's a derivative from sugar, it has a lot more. This is a, this is a cooking show, right? I'm not an eating show. Are you gonna help me? You're supposed to be helping mommy. You wanna stir? I'm not mommy. I know you're helping mommy. Do you want to stir? 
And this is three tablespoons of agave. I want the middle. I want three. <laughs> and you can also substitute um, maple syrup. I guess my daughter is just really hungry. <laughs> And we are live. You've got to love a live show. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us here on Lunch Break Live. Susan, I want to take it over to you for a moment because why not? And let's see. Um, let's take it straight to you. Hey. Oh, wait. I'm here, too. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Lunch Break Live. That's right. So much fun. And we've got, yes, look at these ladies in the kitchen. Back to you. Great. Thank you so much, Paige. Um, so. I'm just finished making the uh, dry batter, or excuse me, mix the dry ingredients for the batter. And then the wet ingredients, I just melted some butter into a small bowl and added two tablespoons of molasses and three tablespoons of maple syrup or um, agave. And then a little, just like a half a teaspoon of vanilla for some flavor and that is it. So how long did that take me? Five minutes? And we're going to pour, we're going to pour the wet into the dry. Just like so. And then give it a good mix. And this is a very special recipe. We've never seen this before. Golden graham cereal. Wow. And I think you were mentioning this is a great snack as well as something that children and families and everyone would love to enjoy for breakfast. Take it away, Susan. Hi. Yes. And you know what? And I haven't even, that's a good point, Paige. I haven't tried making desserts with it. I see um, online there's lots of golden graham kind of Christmas desserts. So this would be a, a good replacement to make those Christmas desserts um, a little healthier. And then I'm going to add, see, my dough's a bit dry. So I'm going to add a couple teaspoons of um, this milk here. It's, um, it's called Hope and Sesame. I found um, this sesame milk. And I just want to tell you guys about it for a second because it is amazing. Um, we're, you know, many of us are switching from dairy whether it's ethical reasons, animal rights, um, climate change. And I'm always out looking for the, the best one, like, you know, the one that, um, you know, will be sustainable. And I found it in this Hope and Sesame organic uh, milk. It actually, it has eight grams of protein per serving, just like dairy milk, but it, sesame milk takes very little water to produce. And it's actually, sesame are magical. You mean, like, they're, they're not just for hummus. <laughs> um, and sesame seeds, like, they, they thrive in very little water, and they actually renew the soil, and they're naturally pest resistant, and they self-pollinate. So they're really bee-friendly. So I absolutely love this. Um, we started switching, you know, just like anything, things can be a an acquired taste. Um, so sesame milk, you know, is a little bit different tasting than, you know, almond and oat. So I started it in Carrington cereal and she absolutely loved it. Um, so I thought I would put it in this, um, cereal recipe to show you. And, you know, if you're going to take, make a switch to sesame milk, it's a good way to start putting it in cereal. Um, okay, look, we're going to make some cereal now. Would you like to eat some, make some cereal? Oh, sweetheart, we should have fed you more before we went on the show. Okay, so now I'm going to roll out the dough. As you can see here, that's the dough. It just kind of looks like cookie dough a bit. And we don't want, we don't need to mix it too much. Um, I'm going to get it onto parchment paper. Now, this is really the trick when you want to roll dough. It's easier to put it on parchment paper instead of a floured surface. And that's really any dough. It doesn't just have to be for this. Um, it's really a time saver. It um, makes cleaning uh, really easy because it's just on parchment. You don't have to flour the surface. Um, easy peasy lemon squeeze. Okay, so here's our dough. And I'm going to take half. Yes, I'm not going to, I don't want to work with the whole amount. 
Are you gonna are you gonna help roll? Yeah. Okay. I'm helping them. No, show us what we're making stuff. You're supposed to be helping. Oh, Okay. okay. So, can you see me? Here, I'm going to roll. The best way to roll and is... Yes, we have Betty Ann who's curious about, can we use um, a maple stirrup, syrup instead of agave? What are your thoughts on that? Oh, yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, you could absolutely use, use maple syrup instead of agave. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, so the best way um, that I like to roll dough is I start in the center and I push out. Nice. And then I rotate, center, out, rotate, center, out, rotate, center, out, rotate, center, out. Now we want it quite thin because we want the cereal to be really crispy and really crunchy. And that's why the parchment paper. So there it is so there's our cereal now you can cut it into a really nice uniform shape if you like um into a square so that's or you can just do it depending on how rustic you want your cereal to look um but just for for looks i'm gonna do this and cut it into a nice square and then we'll just save this dough for later for our next batch. And this makes quite a bit of cereal. Um, you'll have at least six to eight servings. And again, it's just, it would be a good snack. So again, if you want these for toddler biscuits, uh, you can make thicker um, sort of cookie-like cuts in this instead of little um, squares. But the squares are great for finger food, you know, just like kind of like a Cheerio. But this is healthier, I think. I don't know. Is this healthier than Cheerios? What do you guys think? <laughs> you tell me. So next I take a pizza cutter. You can use a sharp knife. And I make vertical lines down the dough. And then I and then I make horizontal to make the squares. Wow, this is so exact. I feel like we are in a dessert course. <laughs> This is amazing. And if you're just joining us, we are with Chef Susan. Tell everybody how they can find you because you have so many great offerings of where, where people can really dive into some of your great recipes. Take it away. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Rachel. We're making Coffee Cat uh, Golden Graham cereal. You can find me on my blog at susancooksvegan.com or on my Instagram, susancooksvegan. And I'm easy to remember because I'm Susan and I cook vegan, easy peasy. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking a fork and I'm going down the center of the square to make those striations that Golden Grams have. And they're great because they, they hold the milk. <laughs> they gather the milk and it's a, it makes for a really, really nice texture. And there we go. And we pop this in the oven for only five minutes i kid you not i'm gonna i'm not gonna wait for it to go um i am gonna put it in the oven because it might be ready by the time we're done our show but i do have i do have some already made that i did earlier and here these are we did it kind of rustic and all you do is just break cereal apart and you've got your own cereal. I keep mine in a jar. I'll make a big batch and then I'll keep it I'll keep it in a jar. Um, this should last you um, about a week. Well that's all that we've been able to have it last. <laughs> I can't tell you the ultimate shelf life unfortunately. Um, but it does have no preservatives so um, it is 
a very, very, very nutritious and delicious um, cereal to have for breakfast. And especially combined with that sesame milk, because the sesame milk has nine, uh, excuse me, eight grams of complete protein. And this is just a powerhouse breakfast. And it's sweet, it's satisfying, it will take you back to your childhood. Um, or even to your adulthood. Hey, I'm I'm a lover of cereal. I never grew out of it. I don't think you have to. <laughs> I think you always love cereal. So. Amazing. Wow, this was such a show. We are so excited that you joined us here on Lunch Break Live and take a look at these delicious, scrumptious looking cereal that could be sprinkled on top of anything, really. And here it is, everybody. Take a look. Wow. Yes. That was really fast. And how long did you say that you bake them for? Only five minutes. Like my, my bell's going to go off and it'll be done. Huh. So you wow. can use the cereal, like impress your friends, impress your family. Like, hey, I just made it. I just made my own cereal. So <laughs> easy, right? Amazing. And like top it with some fresh fruit. Ooh. Really good. I had some bananas, but my co-host who has um, ditched me. <laughs> ate them all so i did have bananas but it's great with fresh food on top of it and then it, it holds really well in the milk it still stays crispy so here i'm using some uh some sesame and let's give this a try where is my spoon do, do, do. There's my spoon all right so you can see it's crunchy It only took 15 minutes. Let's give it a go. Wow. 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 Yeah. And incredible. <laughs> Did you all catch that? You're going to have to back up and watch the show again. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us here today. Susan Cooks Vegan. Oh, my gosh. We love having Chef Susan here on a regular. And we'll see you back here again next time, everybody. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you soon. Bye.